In this example video, we're going to look at how we journalize the issuance of stock. So they tell us that our Scarecrow Inc. company issued 50,000 shares of $2 par value common stock. The shares were sold for $25 per share. And again, they want us to journalize the entry. So we're going to journalize this entry. We are receiving cash. When we record our cash, we always record it at the price that we are selling it for. So we are selling it for $25 per share, or in total, we're gonna to take in $1,250,000. What we are selling is our common stock. Anytime that we're selling shares of stock, whether it's common stock or preferred stock, we always have to record it at the par value, or what's known as the legal capital. So we always are gonna record it at par, in this case, we'll come out to a total of $100,000. The difference between the two, because we know our debits and credits always have to equal, goes into an account called additional paid in capital on common stock. Basically, how much additional money above the par value have we taken into our business in exchange for ownership rights in our business? And in this case, we took in an additional $1,150,000 above that par value. A lot of times you might see this listed as paid in capital in excess of par, additional paid in capital. Either one um, is referring to the same thing. We're taking in additional capital into our business above that par value. 